you tread on thin ice when you start to say who is the greatest ever, but you know, if you look at Al Allison, the way the world does, um, and Charlie the way Harvard does, you know, it's a pretty strong argument. She surprised me almost weekly. Um, she's a superstar who is as humble as you can possibly be. And I think probably her greatest quality was she was a superstar who made her teammates better day in, day out, uh, right from the get-go. For someone who is such a prolific scorer, someone that can control a ball game, to be consistently for four years so unselfish is remarkable. And I remember her freshman year, we, when she came here, we won the Thanksgiving tournament that we had. And, you know, I think there was a team we played in the top 25, so we won the first round, lost in the second round. And she was chosen as the MVP of that tournament. And the trophy sat in our office the entire season. She didn't want it. Um, she was not interested in personal accolades. She was interested in the team winning. I thought that was a profound statement about you know who Charlie was that year and remained that way for four years. I remember in particular the press conference at Stanford where they said, you know, like are you disappointed that you don't get to go to any Final Fours, and she said very strongly, very directly, probably with a little anger in a voice, this is my final four. So what I feel like right now beating Stanford, there's no greater joy you could have in any other ball game. And I'm, you know, and that was true. I mean, she, she, she this was a perfect match for her. This was a perfect team for her and a perfect school for her. She was impactful both as a basketball player on the court and as a leader off the court you know, everywhere, in the program, in the locker room. Um, she was just remarkable.